Welcome, this is a how-to guide for creating reports uh, within Sugar CRM uh, as graph-based reports with the ability to drill down into the underlying information. Okay, so in order to create a report first of all, we navigate to our Reports tab and click on Create Report. Okay, now in order to create a report that combines a graph with uh, information that can be drilled down into we need to use a summation report with details so to give you an idea a rows and columns report is a simple table report a summation report is a graph and a summation report with details combines the two of them so you get the graph at the top level and then you're able to drill down into the associated information okay uh, so in this situation what I'm going to do uh, is I'm going to report on all of my currently open tasks against my projects. Okay, so what I'll do is I will uh, select uh, I'll select tasks as my primary uh, module. Okay, uh, it happens that in this particular system, uh, all of those tasks are generally related to projects, but um, uh, so we don't really need to link it directly to the project. Um, we can just list the uh, tasks themselves. Okay, and the first thing I'm going to do is define my filters. So uh, in this system, uh, we actually pre-create our tasks uh, to provide visibility of upcoming tasks for a particular project. So what I'm going to do, um, those tasks that are not yet ready to be uh, completed sit in the not ready state. So in this case I'm going to show only tasks that are active or on hold. Okay, and I'm going to click next. Okay. Um, what I'm going to do uh, next is uh, identify what I want to group it by. So when we generate our graph, uh, how do we want that data uh, to be uh, displayed? Okay, or, or group. So if for example we're graphing the total number of open tasks uh, by user, uh, it's the user that we're grouping by. Okay, so we want to see a total per user. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll select my user and group by username. Okay, we may also want to group as a secondary uh, field the status. Okay, and that will give us a breakdown of the user, total number of tasks that are active and on hold, and also a breakdown of the actual status uh, within those tasks on a per user basis. Okay, and of course the value that we're graphing here is the total number of tasks. So we'll just rename that counts to number of tasks. Okay, and finally when we drill down uh, into that graph, uh, what we're going to do uh, is uh, display a series of information about each of those tasks. So we want to um, uh, select which of the columns are displayed uh, when we do that drill down. Okay, so obviously with a task we generally want to see when it's due. Okay, uh, the subject of the task, any detail associated with that task. Okay, uh, the status. Okay, and if it's related to a project, we want to see the related project. Okay, so I'll just rename that from project name to project. Uh, okay, and I'll hit next. Finally, we want to uh, select our uh, chart. Okay, so I'll do a vertical bar chart for this example. and set the name of the chart, so number of open tasks by user, uh, by status. Okay, and finally uh, name the uh, report itself. Uh, the final thing I'm going to do, and generally you won't need to worry about this, but I'll make the linkage between the task and the project optional, so that if we happen to create ad hoc tasks, this report will pick those up as well, regardless of whether the task itself is linked to a project or not. Okay, and finally I will save and run that particular uh, report. Okay, and we can see uh, that right now 
Paul has seven open tasks and Shannon has 16 open tasks. And if we drill down, we can see uh, all of the associated information there. Okay, now finally what we're going to do with this report uh, to make it easily accessible uh, whenever we uh, want to access it. Okay, uh, we, we are going to create a new dashboard. Okay, and I'm going to add a new sugar dashlet. Okay, and I assign this particular report to the global team. Okay, number of open tasks by user by status, and I'm going to have that available to me on the, uh, the dashboard there. And I can obviously add as many reports or graph based reports as I like to that dashboard. So it's, I can see as uh, key information in one place. And if I want to drill down into that report, I can click on the uh, little wheel there on the right hand side. And that allows me to drill down into that report and see the associated information. So that concludes our uh, tutorial on creating projects. I hope that helps.